American panel law. Uh, all right, so here's the president saying at a certain point, you've made enough money. Forget capitalism, free markets, forget the, the single best system, economic system ever created by man. Listen to what he said. We're not trying to push financial reform uh, because we begrudge success that's fairly earned. I mean, I, I do think at a certain point you've made enough money. But, you know, that part of the American way is, you know, you can just keep on making it if, if you're providing a good product or you're providing good service. We don't want people to stop uh, uh, fulfilling the core responsibilities of the financial system to help grow the economy. Now, the Hugh, he went off prompter, just like spread the wealth around. Uh, the t he said the time for profits will come, but it's not now. Mm -hmm. It's our patriotic duty to pay more taxes. And now we're saying, you know, at a certain point, you've made enough money. Who, it's who very disturbing. Uh, it's his inner Alinsky coming out. And occasionally he <laughs> drops his guard and out comes Saul. And you hear that echo of the Chicago community organizers saying, I'm going to tell you how much to make and how much you have to give in. Sort of like Gordon Brown going off teleprompter mm -hmm. in the car yesterday yeah, that calling that little lady a bigot. Once you get inside there, you realize this is a profoundly depart a profound departure from ordinary American politics. Yeah, it's a menace. I think it's, I think it's very revealing that he said it off teleprompter. He went off his capitalist teleprompter and he spoke from his socialist heart. And I, I don't understand. I do not understand why liberals can't understand that when you make money, you're actually making money. You're creating wealth. It's good for everybody. And it's it's much better than having the government direct you to go there and you to go there. Here's the problem. And you're on the left and you voted for Obama. Right. Capitalism has lifted more people out of the grinding misery of poverty, has created more wealth, more success, more prosperity than any other economic system, and by the way, is the most fair and the most compassionate. And the president, at any time he goes off prompter, reveals his disdain for capitalism. Isn't that true? Well, I think, I think he goes off prompter a lot, and he's scaring Americans because what he... What he campaigned for is far different than what he is doing now. And that's the big fear, whether you're on the right or the left. The people who voted for him are seeing that he's not transparent, that he's doing things that he's that he said he wasn't going to do, or he's Hammer, not he doing things. This is the same the thing. The problem is for you to categorize or you to lump com Chicago community organizers with Obama is unfair. Obama gave of, of the Which seven part years of community that he was, organizer wait, wasn't wait, he? of the seven years that he was was at uh, as at Reverend Wright's church two Seven, of those years 20 years well uh, out, of seven, 20, sorry, yeah, 20. out of sorry out of out of seven 20, years. 20 years. <laughs> okay, well, out of seven years, two of those years, he gave less than 1% of his income to the church. So he's a cheapskate so, like Biden's a cheapskate like Gore's a cheapskate. Right. So are you telling him to be the president's so, a cheapskate? So, you know, for, for him to say, for, for you to say that community organizers and Obama are linked into the same group, no, is, 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 it, it's not the point. same. And nobody in Chicago knows what community organizing he's even done. We're, we're trying to figure to it out. He used I live to teach Chicago. the Alinsky course. He taught for an acorn. He used to teach at Chicago. That is not no, community he, organizing. He's going back before that. All yeah. right. Well, I, you know, I, the only thing, who gets to decide how much is too much? Are we going to have a new bureau, bureaucracy? Does the tax cheat Tim Geithner decide? Yeah. Did Al Gore make? Al Gore bought a nine million dollar house. That Does, would be the follow up, Mr. President. When is too much? What, how much yeah, what is, is too it? much? What, he just did not give us say a number. How much is too much? He just said that it is. He a said at some point, point. Right, but but this, no, no, no. why are we taking it apart? Why? Because th this society was predicated on liberty and freedom and individual responsibility and choices. And when did we ever start punishing success? Look, you know He's this. Not punishing it. This drives me nuts. Because the advancement of the human condition is because capitalism has allowed people to bring their God-given talents to fruition. You take away capitalism, you take away success, prosperity, and the advancement of humankind. How much of his capitalism or anti-capitalism has he taken from you? A fortune. How I'm paying 60% plus in income and in taxes between New York and, and the federal government. And so has he. He oh, made five and a half million. Oh, he made five and a half million last year. He didn't pay taxes on those. Maybe Listen, he made too much money. Why can't liberals be more generous with their own money? <laughs> why can't they? Why, why can I have to be this generous is, with yeah, our money? This is just part money. of his demonizing the capitalist class. So we're supposed to forget the democratic role in creating this crisis and creating the stuff that, that Wall Street was abusing. They created the subprime mortgages that Wall Street was yeah. abusing and, and then bailed reason. them out when it crashed. We have 9.7 percent unemployment is because people are afraid to produce. They're afraid they're not going to keep what 
what they get yeah, to make. It, it will yeah, kill our economy dead if he keeps saying to things fall like this. Apart after, before Obama, Did, during President Bush, no, uh, this, this all started Look, to fall apart. Stop. It's not all no, Obama's it didn't fault. Stop for, he has incurred more debt, more deficits than every president combined, and he's done it in two years. Here, here's what we learned: Kathleen Sebelius got a report one week before the vote on health care that said everything that they were claiming the health care law will increase the cost of health care impose higher costs on consumers they knew this before the vote alan greenspan is saying rationing is going to be needed to deal with the debt because we can't afford the health care plan why didn't they say all this in the in the ten months that we were debating all this you gotta go back and read rules for radicals never tell the truth about what you're up to demonize the opposition and That's then when it. it's done it's over well you voted for him are you happy with him no and i said that the first time i was on the show i'm not happy with obama I have buyer's remorse, but at the same time, I feel there, like there's a lot of fear mongering. What? And what fear mongering? That that me? you're going to lose all of your money. Wait that, a minute. That I'll give you fear mongering. That nuclear weapons are going to infiltrate our, our country and we're just going to blow up His and go away. His own defense department I mean, it's, said it's Iran's going to have a nuclear weapon potentially that could hit the U.S. in five years. It was Obama that said we face catastrophe unless we pass the stimulus plan. He said that. Is that fear mongering? It, Yes, and he's flipped his position. He's, he's flipped. He, he's flipped your, a lot of positions. Your position. president flipped his position. The guy your you voted for. Your president has flipped this position too. He is not transparent. He, we voted for him. And he lied based to us. Based on transparency. Yes, I agree. All right, we got to leave it right there. We're out of here.